this is the reading of the Torah portion called Terumah, also known as Offerings. And it goes from Exodus 25, 1 through chapter 27, verse 19. And we'll begin. Then Yahovah spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Israel that they bring me an offering, or Terumah. From everyone who gives it willingly with his heart, you shall take my offering. And this is the offering which you shall take from them. Gold, silver, bronze, blue, purple, and scarlet, fine linen, and goat's hair. Ram skin, dyed red, badger skins, and acacia wood. Oil for the light, and spices for the anointing oil, and for the sweet incense. Onyx stones and stones to be set in the ephod and in the breastplate. And let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them. According to all that I show you, that is, the olive and tov pattern of the tabernacle and the olive and tov tabernacle pattern <laughs> of all its furnishings, just so you shall make it. Et tavnit hamishkan. Ve'et tavnit. And they shall make an ark of acacia wood, two and a half cubits its length, a cubit and a half its width, and a cubit and a half its height. And you shall overlay it with pure gold inside and out. You shall overlay it and shall make on it a molding of gold all around. You shall cast four rings of gold for it and put them at its four corners. Two rings shall be on one side, and two rings on the other side. And you shall make poles of acacia wood, and overlay them with gold. You shall put the poles into the rings on the sides of the ark, that the ark may be carried by them. The poles shall be in the rings of the ark, they shall not be taken from it. And you shall put the ark, the, you shall put into the ark, the Olive and Tav testimony, which I will give you. I find it interesting that they, or is it, that they capitalize testimony. You think they know that the Olive and Tav is the testimony? Et ha edut. We're going to deal with this later. Et ha edut. Ha edut et. With seven or in between the mercy seat. But anyway, you shall make the mercy seat kapurit of pure gold. Two and a half cubits shall be its length and a cubit and a half its width. And you shall make two cherubim of gold or hammered of hammered work. You shall make them at the two ends of the mercy seat. Make one cherub at one end and the other cherub at the other end. You shall make the cherubim at the two ends of it of one piece with the mercy seat. And the cherubim shall stretch out their wings above, covering the mercy seat with their wings. And they shall face one another. The faces of the cherubim shall be toward the mercy seat. You shall put the mercy seat on top of the ark. And in the ark you shall put the testimony that I will give you. And I will meet with you, and I will speak with you from above the mercy seat, from between the two cherubim which are on the ark of the elephant of testimony, about everything which I will give you in commandment to the children of Israel. You shall also make a table of acacia wood. Two cubits shall be its length, a cubit its width, and a cubit and a half its height. And you shall overlay it with pure gold and make a molding of gold all around. You shall make it for, for it a frame of a handbreadth all around, and you shall make a gold molding for the frame all around. And you shall make for it four rings of gold and put the rings on the four corners there that are at its four legs. The rings shall be close to the frame, as holders for the poles to bear the table. You shall make the poles of acacia wood, 
and overlay them with gold, that the table may be carried with them. You shall make its dishes, its pans, its pitchers, and its bowls for pouring. You shall make them of pure gold, and you shall set the showbread on the table before me always. Or the lechem panim, the presence, the bread of the presence or of the face, faces. You shall also make a lampstand of pure gold. The lampstand shall be of hammered work, its shaft, its branches, its bowls, its ornamental knobs, and flowers shall be of one piece, and six branches shall come out of its sides, three branches of the lampstand out of one side, and three branches of the lampstand out of the other side. Three bowls shall be made like almond blossoms on one branch with an ornamental knob and a flower and three bowls made like almond blossoms on the other branch with an ornamental knob and a flower and so for the six branches that come out of the lampstand. On the lampstand itself four bowls shall be made like al almond blossoms each with its ornamental knob and flower and there shall be a knob under the first two branches of the same, a knob under the second two branches of the same, and a knob under the third two branches of the same, according to the six branches that extend from the lampstand. Their knobs and their branches shall be of one piece, all of it shall be one hammered piece of pure gold. You shall make seven lamps for it, and they shall arrange its lamps so that it gives light in front of it and its wick trimmers and their trays shall be of pure gold. It shall be made of a talent of pure gold. And there's olive and tov stuck in there with all these utensils. And see to it that you make them according to the pattern which was shown you on the mountain. Chapter 26 Moreover, you shall make the tabernacle with ten curtains of fine woven linen and blue, purple, and scarlet with artistic designs of cherubim you shall weave them. The length of each curtain shall be twenty-eight cubits and the width of each curtain shall be four cubits and every one of the curtains shall have the same measurements. Five curtains shall be coupled to one another or literally a woman unto her sister and the other five curtains shall be coupled to one another and you shall make loops of blue on the edge of the curtains on the selvage of one set and likewise you shall do on the outer edge of the other curtains of the second set fifty loops you shall make in the one curtain and fifty loops you shall make on the edge of the curtain that is on the end of the second set that the loops may be clasped to one another and you shall make fifty clasps of gold and couple the curtains together with the clasps so that it may be one tabernacle you shall also make curtains of goats here to be a tent over the tabernacle you shall make eleven curtains the length of each curtain shall be thirty cubits and the width of each curtain four cubits and the eleven curtains shall all have the same measurements and you shall couple five curtains by themselves and six curtains by themselves and you shall double over the sixth curtain at the forefront of the tent you shall make fifty loops on the edge of the curtain that is outermost in one set and fifty loops on the edge of the curtain of the second set you shall make fifty bronze clasps put the clasp into the loops and couple the tent together that it may be one the remnant that remains of the curtains of the tent the half curtain that remains shall hang over the back of the tabernacle and a cubit on one side and a cubit on the other side of which remains of the length of the curtain of the tent shall hang over the sides of the tabernacle on this side and on that side to cover it you shall also make a covering of ram skins 
dyed red for the tent and a covering of badger skins above that. And for the tabernacle, you shall make the boards of acacia wood standing upright. Ten cubits shall be the length of a board, and a cubit and a half shall be the width of each board. Two tenons shall be in each board for binding one to another. Thus you shall make for all the boards of the tabernacle. And you shall make the boards for the tabernacle. Twenty boards for the south side. You shall make forty sockets of silver under the twenty boards. Someone told me one time that they are like Legos. That that's how they built them to fit together. <laughs> two sockets under each of the boards for its two tenons. And for the second side of the tabernacle, the north side, twenty boards. And there are forty sockets of silver, two sockets under each of the boards. For the far side of the tabernacle, westward, you shall make six boards. And you shall also make two boards for the two back corners of the tabernacle. They shall be coupled together at the top by one ring. Thus it shall be for both of them. They shall be for the two corners. So there shall be eight boards with their sockets of silver, sixteen sockets, two sockets under each of the boards. And you shall make bars of acacia wood, five for the boards on one side of the tabernacle, five bars for the boards on the other side of the tabernacle, and five bars, bars for the boards of the side of the tabernacle, for the far side westward. The middle bar shall pass through the midst of the bars from end to end. You shall overlay the boards with gold, make their rings of gold as holders for the bars, and overlay the bars with gold. And you shall raise up the tabernacle according to its pattern which you were shown on the mountain. You shall make a veil woven of blue, purple, and scarlet, and fine woven linen, it shall be woven with an artistic design of cherubim. You shall hang it upon the four pillars of acacia wood overlaid with gold. Their hooks shall be gold upon four sockets of silver. And you shall hang the veil from the clasps. Then you shall bring the Olifantov Ark of the Testimony. And there behind the veil, the veil shall be a divider for you between the holy place and the most holy. You shall put the mercy seat upon the ark of the testimony and the most holy. You shall set the table outside the veil and the lampstand across from the table on the side of the tabernacle towards the south. And you shall put the table on the north side. You shall make a screen for the door of the tabernacle woven of blue, purple, and scarlet and fine woven linen made by a weaver. You shall make for the screen five pillars of acacia wood and overlay them with gold. Their hooks shall be gold and you shall cast five sockets of bronze for them. Chapter 27 You shall make an altar of acacia wood five cubits long and five cubits wide the altar shall be square in its height, three cubits. You shall make its horns on its four corners. Its horns shall be of one piece with it. And you shall overlay it with bronze. Also you shall make its pans to receive its ashes, and its shovels, and its basins, and its forks, and its fire pans. You shall make all its utensils of bronze. You shall make a grate for it, a network of bronze, and on the network you shall make four bronze rings at its four corners. You shall put it under the rim of the altar beneath, that the network may be midway up the altar, and you shall make poles for the altar, poles of acacia wood, and overlay them with bronze. The poles shall be put in the rings, and the poles shall be on the two sides of the altar to bear it. 
you shall make it hollow with boards, as it was shown you on the mountain. So shall they make it. You shall also make, all of them tov, the court of the tabernacle. For the south side there shall be hangings for the court of fine woven linen, 100 cubits long for one side, and its 20 pillars, and their 20 sockets shall be of bronze. The hooks of the pillars and their bands shall be silver. Likewise, along the length of the north side, there shall be hangings, 100 cubits long, with its 20 pillars and their 20 sockets of bronze, and the hooks of the pillars and their bands of silver. And along the width of the court on the west side there shall be hangings of fifty cubits with their ten pillars and their ten sockets. The width of the court on the east side shall be fifty cubits. The hangings on one side of the gate shall be fifteen cubits with their three pillars and their three sockets and on the other side shall be hangings of fifteen cubits with their three pillars and their three sockets. For the gate of the court there shall be a screen twenty cubits long, woven of blue, purple, and scarlet, and fine woven linen made by a weaver. It shall have four pillars and four sockets. All the pillars around the court shall have bands of silver, their hooks shall be of silver, and their sockets of bronze. The length of the court shall be one hundred cubits the width 50 throughout and the height 5 cubits made of fine woven linen and its sockets of bronze all the utensils of the tabernacle for all its service all its pegs and all the pegs of the court shall be of bronze and that my friends is the end of this door portion the half door portion if you're interested, it's 1 Kings 5, verse 12 through 6, verse 13. Thanks for listening. I almost forgot to deal with the, uh, or go over the Et Ha Edut in Exodus 25, verse 16. And the not backwards, but they did do it the opposite way. In verse 22, it looks like, where it says, Ha edut olive and tav et. Well, what's interesting about that? Well, the fact that they capitalized testimony both times, or actually every time they're talking about the... Ten Commandments, which is called the Testimony. You see the uh, Ein and the Dala in the middle of the word Ha Edut. What is interesting about that is on Torah scrolls, which are handwritten, handwritten on lambskin, if you saw a real Torah scroll, you would notice that in the Shema, which is Deuteronomy 6.4, it starts at 6.4, it says Shema, Israel, Yahovah Eloheinu, Yahovah Echad. Well, in every Torah scroll, and in, like, this is a mezuzah that I wrote myself, the Ein in the Shema and the Dalit in Echad, is always enlarged. Those are like tittles, jots and tittles in the word. But the olive and sh I mean the ein and shema and the dalit and echad spells ed, which is witness in Hebrew. So a lot of people say that if you say the shema all the way to the end, which is the hero Israel, Yahovah, our Elohim, Yahovah is one. The greatest commandment that actually Yeshua says, if you say that every day, 
you're being a witness. A witness of what? A witness of Yahovah and a witness of Torah. And actually, a lot of people don't even realize it, but they're being a witness of Yeshua because he is the testimony. He is the Ten Commandments. He is the Word made flesh that dwelt among us. And right here we have an olive and tav next to the testimony. And see how it's et ha edut and then ha edut et, kind of like a bracket. Well, it just so happens in the middle of these two brackets, we have seven kapor, kaporit, which is the mercy seat. You ever heard of a kippa that a Jewish person wears? The little um, beanie that the Jewish people wear is called a kippa, which is the same root as the mercy seat. Kapor, kapor it. It's spelled differently in this. Like there's a ha kapor it, which just means the mercy seat, and that just means mercy seat. Um, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven should be a number that jumps out at you. But it's like we have an, a bracket of the testimony, the olive and top testimony, with seven hakaporets, or mercy seat. In between. Now, <laughs> since I am terrible ex at explaining things, those of you with understanding um, can see how significant that is. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to draw attention to that. I th thought it was pretty cool. But anyway, if someone else understands this and wants to do a video that explains it better than I do, I hope you do, because I will share it. But anyway, that's just me. Thank you.